We are just 12 hours away from polls opening in the Virginia primaries. Tonight we're focusing on Alexandria. Three Democratic candidates are vying for the nomination to fill the mayor's seat. You may remember Mayor Justin Wilson decided not to run for re-election. New at 6, our Matthew Torres has a look at the mayoral race and the issues the candidates want to address. Tonight, we're one step closer to a new chapter in the city of Alexandria. Three candidates fighting to become the next mayor. Yes, we'll be there. All right, I'm looking for you. Councilwoman Elia Gaskins greeting voters in her neighborhood Monday. She's backed by current mayor Justin Wilson, who chose not to seek re-election after two terms. Gaskins touts her background in public health and urban planning. She says the city needs to figure out ways to ease the burden of taxes on residents. How do we diversify our tax base? At the end of the day, this 80-20 split is unsustainable, and I keep hearing from people that they're one tax increase from not being able to stay here. Alexandria could have benefited if the Potomac Yard Arena passed, but Gaskins was on the fence from the beginning. I was never a strong yes or a strong no. I thought it was a great opportunity, but only if it delivered certain things. At this point, I think this city needs a cultural change. Longtime businessman Stephen Peterson ran on stopping the arena. He's a retired real estate developer who's focused on tackling one of the biggest issues in Alexandria, housing. Here he is at a neighborhood forum. First one that I is, is a priority to me is affordable housing. The lack of housing model that facilitates a range of price points <laughs> that needs to meet our diverse community. Housing subsidies are just a small percentage of, of dwelling units dispersed throughout the city will not solve this problem. In that same forum, Vice Mayor Amy Jackson honed in on her six years as a council member. She's endorsed by the Commonwealth Attorney. As a former teacher and administrator, her priorities are public safety and education. Jackson has proposed a three cent tax increase to support schools, but wants more for the youth. We need an entertainment district, though, for our youth. We have to look at what restaurants, what outside dollars can be brought into Alexandria. Latest campaign records show that all three candidates raised more than $614,000. Gaskins is leading in the fundraising. I did reach out to Jackson and Peterson for an interview today, but did not hear back. In Alexandria tonight, Matthew Torres, WUSA 9.